Hello, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a corner lift drop shadow effect. In other words, I'm going to take a layer and I'm going to warp that layer. So, in other words, I'm just going to lift up a corner just like it, as you see here, and then I'm going to have a drop shadow effect behind it, as you see right here, as a drop shadow effect. So I'm just going to go over to a new document. I have the same in, 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 image. It's the same background. So our first step is we want to take this layer. And um, lift this corner up. So let's go to Control T, shortcut for transform. And then uh, we want to use the warp option. So there's many different ways that we could get the air. Once you are in the transform mode, you can right click, select warp, or you can go up here to the options bar and select warp. So all I have to do now once you're in warp mode is then, then click and drag this corner. See what it does? It just lifts it up. And you could drag it to get whatever effect that you want. So I'm just going to leave it right there. Press enter. And now what I want to do is I want to use the polygonal lasso tool. So we come over here. Select that. Let's make a selection. So all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging and making a selection. To wherever you want and let's close out the selection now we got a selection here now we want to make a new layer of this selection so a shortcut key to make a new layer just for this selection that we made is control shift and N is in Nancy and then we can name it and then press enter as you can see a new layer was created but we first must fill this layer with uh, black so that's my foreground color so a shortcut key is uh, alt delete on a PC Fills that up. Control D now D to deselect. Now what we want to do is we want to move this layer behind the image. So we're going to come over here in the layers panel, click and drag it down below, and now it's behind there. Now we could uh, change the opacity right now. As you could see, it. Uh, changes that but let's leave it up for right now let's create a blur effect so we're going to come up here filter blur and then gaussian blur and as you can see it already started blurring it a little bit so we could set the pixels if you increase the pixels the more blurry it will get for you so you can play around with it and create whatever effect that you want so let's go let's try 25 let's leave it right there click OK and that's how now if you could also move this layer around so use the move tool and then just adjust that layer there to create the drop shadow effect that you want. So basically that is how you could do it. One way you could do it uh, uh, by creating a corner lift drop shadow effect in Photoshop. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you today and it gave you a new idea on how you could create drop shadows for your projects. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and uh, click on that bell notification 
So whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified of it. And also, please like, share, and comment. Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.